Meg Furious's Mariah Carey criticized her for bringing her own paparazzi on a private jet. Our airport typically doesn't have random paparazzi. What are your thoughts on Meghan and Harry being photographed in the Grenadines? Firstly, very few people visit the West Indies in October as it's deserted. Most visitors come just before Christmas until early May because the other months are hurricane season. Hurricanes can strike suddenly, and people don't want to be caught in one. Additionally, did you notice how empty the place was? It was strange that they couldn't even hold hands. Meghan and Harry seem desperate, and their agenda is faltering at every turn. For example, when William went to New York, he had a very successful trip and managed to maintain privacy. In contrast, when Meghan and Harry went to New York, nobody seemed interested. Their symposium had poor attendance, and there was no one to see them coming or going. There was zero interest in them. Soho House needs publicity, and Meghan and Harry also need publicity, so they help each other out. Then, they traveled to Atlanta, and it seems they leaked photos and stories wherever they went. A local in Atlanta revealed that they were photographed on their way back from a tropical vacation with no kids. I can assure you that they likely hired a photographer to capture them at the airport. Atlanta's airport is one of the busiest in the world with tight security. There are no paparazzi lurking in the shadows at Atlanta airport. Atlanta does have famous residents and visitors, but they are not typically photographed here unless it's a planned event. Mariah Carey, for instance, had her privacy when she lived there because there weren't many paparazzi around. This also suggests that Meghan brought her own paparazzi to the airport. This controversy arises as Prince Harry and Meghan were called out for their seemingly hypocritical choice to travel to an island on a private jet. Royal biographer Angelo L., speaking to GB News, criticized the couple for their trip to the island of Canaan. Photos of them arriving on a small jet surfaced online. Angelo called them total hypocrites and accused them of becoming increasingly arrogant. He also suggested that they were using their holiday as an opportunity to network and make connections with billionaires and Hollywood stars on an island favored by the wealthy. According to Angelo, they are trying to court the rich and famous, but they have been met with disdain and are considered a laughingstock by the artists they once hoped to befriend and exploit.